Hi YouTubers out there. It's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you again. We just got back from the range and we brought the brought our Pac Meyer case to the range again and it's a great way to relax on a weekend. So what we did was took a favorite uh, firearm to the range just to relax. And this one is the Ruger Blackhawk in 357 Magnum caliber with the 4 and 5 eighths inch barrel. Well no we didn't use our our rig here because the range won't allow us to have a holster while we're there. I thought I'd put it in the holster to let you look at it and see the nice rig got the belt that holds 25 rounds in the loops and it's got the nice holster that will accommodate the 4 and 5 8 inch barrel nicely. Now it's got a little leather retainer there and a lot of people think that well that's because the horseback rider doesn't want to have the the pistol fall out by accident and certainly that's one reason but the other reason is that in the old days when the cowboys were riding through the brush it's possible for a branch of a tree to hit this and actually bring the pistol to full cock and that's a very dangerous situation for the rider because if the firearm discharges by accident after that the bullet goes down the leg or it hits the horse and that uh, cowboy is going to be in trouble out there. So the leather tie down is to keep that from happening. So any brush hits this it won't bring the pistol a full cock in the holster. Anyway when the when the cowboy or the the user needs it simply goes like this takes it off and then the pistol will come out of the holster like so. Now once again, we clean the pistol with ballastol, and this pistol is unloaded, like so. So Bill Ruger brought out the Black Hawk back in 1955, and the original version had a six and a half inch barrel. Now this one is the four and five eighths which is just past the ejector rod makes it a very handy length but it's a very accurate pistol. So I was at the range and shooting at twelve and a half yards two-handed and taking my time and wanting to see how many ten rings I could hit in a row. So I'm shooting out the ten ring and the shooter next to me is doing the same thing except he's doing it one-handed and I'm doing it two-handed so one hand is much more difficult. He's shooting out these little red spotters that he puts in the center of, of his targets. He puts four targets out there and he shoots the red centers out of each one of them. And he comes over to me and he says, he says, you know what's happening? Uh, your bullets are basically going through the same hole so you need a new target. So he couldn't stand it anymore because I was shooting and nothing was happening because the bullets were going through the same hole. Anyway, I'm having a good day shooting and so he gives me a target. And so this is the target that he gave me to use and I put six rounds through there and thought I'd bring it back to show you how accurate this, this pistol is for a 4 and 5 eighth inch pistol. Very accurate. So here's the Black Hawk. This happens to be a convertible. So I have another cylinder for 9mm. But this cylinder will take the 357 Magnum and the 38 Special. Why well, load target loads the about 850 feet per second with promo powder? And it's very economical and very accurate. The way this pistol works, again, is it was came out in 1955, Bill Ruger. And here's the side picture. 
Very nice sights on it. Not as nice as Smith & Wesson sights, but pretty good. So the way this works is when you open the loading gate, that drops the bolt so that the cylinder can turn and the rounds can be chambered and unloading can be done by lining up the the chamber with the ejector rod and then going like this and the ejector rod will eject the, the empties then you reload close the loading gate and you're ready to go when the loading gates open you cannot cock the pistol single action pistol so you have to actually manually thumb the uh, hammer back for each shot and then the trigger can be pressed to drop the hammer and fire the, the pistol. Well, you can't fire the pistol just by pulling the, the trigger. It's not double action. It's single action pistol. We have some Ajax grips made to be the buffalo style. So black it is. Made out of uh, plastic. But they're very nice grips. So not like a Colt. The Colt you would take it back to half cock and then the cylinder would turn and you would open the loading gate and load and unload but you wouldn't be able to load six rounds because if you did the firing pin would be resting on the right on the primer of, of the, the round that's right underneath the hammer. Then if, if anything came along and hit the hammer or if you dropped the pistol and it landed on the hammer, it would go off. So, the original three-screw model was just like that. You couldn't load six rounds. You would have to have five and keep an empty chamber underneath the hammer. The way you do that would be you would load one, and then you would skip one, and then load four, and then you would bring the, the hammer to, to full cock and, and lower it, and that would be on the empty chamber. So that's the common way to, to do it. But in 1973, Bill Ruger, after many years, went and designed a safe mechanism with a transfer bar so that there's no way that the firing pin would rest on the, on the primer of the round underneath the hammer. So whenever the pistol was cocked, the transfer bar would come up like this right here. And then when the pistol is fired, the transfer bar stays up so the hammer hits the transfer bar and that hits the firing pin and drives it forward to fire the pistol. But if the, if the trigger is not held back, the transfer bar drops down and then the hammer no longer is touching the, the firing pin so that there's no, there's no contact of the firing pin to the primer of the cartridge so that you, you can safely have, have the cylinder loaded with six rounds and there wouldn't be any accidents if this hammer were hit. Very accurate pistol. So today, today at the range what happened was there was another shooter there shooting a stainless steel Super Blackhawk 44 Magnum. So I went over and admired his pistol and told him uh, how much uh, I thought his pistol was just a beautiful, uh, beautiful firearm. And we got to talking and I showed him my Ruger. And we got to talking and, and he had just bought, the, bought his. So I've had mine for quite a while now. This pistol has the warning label on the bottom, not on the side, so that's nice. I asked him, I asked him if he reloaded, because uh, I showed him my reloads and how, how they're nice and accurate. And he said no, he didn't reload. What he was shooting was purchased reloads from the range, and then he had bought some 44 specials, and he shot those. And he was getting ready to go, and so I asked him if, if he reloaded, and he said no. So that I asked him what he was going to do with his, with his brass. And he said he was just going to leave it there at the range, and, and what I 
suggested to him was that if he didn't mind, uh, I would take the, the brass from him because I reloaded. And so what he did was, he gave me, and I, I carry some extra Ziploc bags with me, so I took his brass and put it in the Ziploc bag, and here's 50 rounds of once fired Remington nickel plated 44 specials empty cases and then I got 50 rounds of 44 Magnum now this is a new brass because it's, it's a their reloads but the brass is good it'll last almost forever so I have 50 rounds of 44 Magnum brass that he gave me so it's nice to talk to other shooters I figure that 100 rounds of brass like this is easily worth about $30 by the time I get it shipped to me. So here's $30. And at the same time, between, between target changes, I picked up some range scrap lead. So I figure I got about 11, 10 or 11 pounds of, of range scrap lead. And at the going price of two fifty a pound, that's uh, probably another thirty dollars or so. So today at the range, I enjoyed myself and also had a chance to pick up about sixty dollars worth of product. That's uh, not a bad day at the range. So YouTubers out there, if you're looking for a nice pistol to en to just enjoy yourself and re relax at the range, can't go wrong with a nice Blackhawk three fifty seven Magnum. Bill Ruger makes these things to last. They're very durable, very robust. All the parts are very robust inside. Coil springs are almost indestructible. And if I had another one of these, I could shoot cowboy action. So YouTubers out there, have a good time at the range. Uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, very best wishes to you and Forcey Cookie 45LC signing out.